This is de kleine rekenmeester, which means the little accountant. It was produced by J.B. Walters, that was an educational publisher who made school books and atlases and all kinds of educational materials. Hoeveelheid en getal means quantity and number, and that's the slogan they used on several uh, items to do with uh, calculations and arithmetic, or numbers in general. It's kind of a very simple abacus. It has a single rod with ten beads on it, and here there's a little counter. So when you move any of the beads to the right, it clicks past this uh, gear, and that increments at the counter. It also has a little uh, window here that you can shut and uh, that allows uh, the child who's playing with this to do um, sort of mental calculations. So 4 plus 3 is 7 and then you reveal the number to see if you're right. It has a very simple mechanism just a, a, a toothed gear here, and that uh, gets triggered by the beads. On the front you see uh, this logo and the Dux, D-U-X, and that is the actual manufacturer of this, uh, this toy. It's a brand name uh, for the company Marx and Co. Company, and yeah, that's a, a German company that uh, that started making uh, plastic uh, stuff in the early 1950s. Before that, they made mostly uh, metal items, including toys under this brand name. On the back it again says J.B. Walters and Groningen, Nederland. That's the town and the country. The publisher J.B. Walters was best known for publishing the Bos Atlas. Bos doesn't mean forest here, it's just the name of the person who first, who first compiled the atlas. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's an atlas that was used in every school in the Netherlands. This particular atlas is from 1921. It's the 26th edition. And it has many beautiful maps uh, yeah, well, of Europe and the whole world. And uh, Each map displays only one thing, so that it's uh, simple and clean. And uh, yeah, so that the maps were easily understood. And here's one from 1951. It's essentially the same thing, but all the maps were updated. This is the 38th edition. The interesting thing is in this edition is that uh, J.B. Walters mentions uh, Groningen and Jakarta. And that's the same as on the box here. And that basically dates the Kleine Rekenmeester to the 19, early 1950s, 1950 to 1955. I'll open up the machine now.
it has a, a large number wheel and this is connected through this gear to this smaller gear at the front and this small gear has also has five large teeth that interact with the beads. On the right here you have a, a spring that pushes this uh, metal object against uh, this wheel to, uh, to make sure that this is aligned properly and doesn't uh, move too freely so it clicks into place. Let me just put this back together. You have to make sure that this small wheel has one tooth pointing downwards and then you put this one down directly on a number. Now just insert this. There we go. That was De Kleine Rekenmeester. Thank you for watching.